In today's video, I want to talk about life lately and some things that I am loving. That's what I want to do in today's video. Now, on my journal to simple living and minimalism, you will not find very many tangible things in this video. I want to share things that are truly feel good things, I guess, like inside of me, what I am loving lately. I have a couple tangible things to share with you in today's video, but for the most part, I just want to talk about life. I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Creative Fabrica. I will be sharing more about Creative Fabrica as we move through this video, but for now, on to life lately and things that I am currently loving. Truly finding joy in the simple little things. And one of those things is making lunch for my husband, getting to have coffee in the morning with him and have those conversations. Mind you, sometimes I don't want to talk because I'm not a huge fan of mornings. So don't get like the wrong impression here. I am not really much of a morning person, but I am absolutely loving a warm cup of coffee in the morning. I'm absolutely loving getting to wake up with my husband, getting to have another day here on this earth with my family and getting to make his lunch for him. So silly to some, not to me. The next thing I want to share with you is actually an idea that I got from a fellow homeschool YouTube mama from Abby over at Rooted in Rest. And this is in regards to how I study the Bible. This has changed the way we've been studying the Bible as a family in our home. And as we begin our homeschool day class, when we would start morning basket or start our homeschool day, whatever you want to call, we have, we have group subjects, things that we do together. And Bible was always one of them, but my boys would sit on the couch and I would read to them from the Bible, or we would read a devotional. Well, I got the idea from Abby over at Rooted in Rest. She talks about the soak method. Now, some people have heard of the soap method. Some call it the soak. I love her idea of soak soaking in God's word. So what we do together, my boys and I all on the couch, this is my Bible reading time for the day also with the boys. We are currently working through Psalms. So each day we meet at the couch, my boys grab their Bibles, I grab my Bible, we all have our journals and we open up our Bibles. We read whatever book we happen to be on, which was book eight today. And I have a backstory on why this has so been amazing to me in this season that we have been in. But we sit, we don't have a time frame on it. We just sit until we all finish. So S O A K or S O A P S for scripture, O for observation, A for application and P for prayer or K, which is the method I like that Abby shared, which is the kneeling in prayer. So when you think of soak, you're thinking of soaking in God's word. So for the last four weeks, this is how we start our homeschool day. And it has been such a treasure to me. I have loved sharing what God has been revealing to me. Because without going into a ton of detail, I have been reminded very loud and clear over the last, well, a specific seven day time period to be exact, that I need to let go of my kids and trust God with my kids. And in the lessons and the ways this has been taught to me has been the work of God. Sitting and being alone with God, when you are in dire need of his help, when it is totally out of your hands and you have got nothing and no one but him, the only one that matters, that will change your life. He will change your life. And that's been a solid seven days of being reminded and reminded and reminded. And as we're working through the beginning of Psalms, it's been really crazy how God has just revealed himself to me as mama through that and then how I can talk about that with my boys and how we can discuss it as a family and see how God's hand was in every one of those moments. Every one of those moments. This whole concept behind this soak method, this Bible time, studying the Bible with my boys. And that was something I thought was important too. I want them to read God's word on their own. I want to encourage them to pick up their Bible and to read God's word and to interpret it the way that he has for them and to see the messages that he has for them and to see how different it is. And sometimes it lines up perfectly, which is so crazy and awesome, but sometimes it's totally different. And then we all put together what we wrote in our journals. This is mine right here. We all put together what we have written down in our journals and we talk about it and we discuss it. And it's the most beautiful part of our homeschool day. Most beautiful part. My boys know now when they come into the living room, when we get things started, they need their Bible, they need their journal, they need something else to write with. If we get nothing else done in our homeschool day but that, 
that fills my soul. So I have absolutely been loving that before. That's not something we've ever done in our homeschool before. I have not ever just had my boys grab their Bible and open it up during school and see what God has for them. So this has been kind of an action plan for all of us to, to be in it intentionally, to be in his word intentionally, to make that decision and say, okay, God, we're coming to you at the start of our day. What do you have for us? What do you want us to carry with us throughout our day? So it's been beautiful. The next thing I've been loving lately, which I've been talking about way too much on here, so I'm sure you all understand and already know this one is coming, but the feeling of a simple, clutter-free home. I am not even kidding. I can so feel the difference in myself when I go into my closet and my closet is clean and organized and I can see the floor and I know right where my items are and it's simple, you guys. My closet is so simple right now and it has never in my whole entire life ever been that way. And I am not kidding, it is so contagious. I've told you guys that before on this journey. Like as we are embarking on our journey to more simple, minimal living, I am seeing how this is so contagious and how you want to just carry it to every area and avenue in your home. I have not ever had that much free space. And I know it sounds crazy, but I know you mamas know what I'm talking about when I talk about free space, just like with noise, you know what I'm talking about. And it just is so contagious. I want to continue moving through every place in our home. Our form of simple living and minimalism is going to look way different than anybody else's because it's ours. So to some, we might have excess, others, we might not have enough, but for us, it's perfect. It is our happy place. All that to say, I am loving that slow, simple feeling. Again, not a tangible thing. These are feelings. These are things inside of me. This is God working and moving in me, in my family, in our home. He is so reassuring me on so many levels right now that I need it so deeply. And I'm so loving that right now. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I can't even believe what's gonna come out of my mouth is actually going to come out of my mouth. But I recently got kicked off of Instagram. I've shared that in a couple of videos. If you missed that, I wasn't doing anything that I shouldn't be doing. I simply was not hooked up to my Wi-Fi. I couldn't remember my password. I have two-factor authentication. Um, and I don't remember what that was. And I have sent in probably 50 times the video selfie thing they make you send in to verify that it's you, yeah. They keep telling me that I am not me, that, that, that I am not who I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so all that being said, it's been about a month and a half, I think, that I have not had Instagram. And can I just say that I am loving not having Instagram? I can't even believe that that's coming out of my mouth. I feel encouraged in areas that have been hiding I feel motivated in areas that have been hiding. I feel like I have energy to be present in my life. Guys, I don't know how to explain it other than I am absolutely loving it because I'm very sad. I miss so many of you on there that I got to interact with that I don't now. I don't have your phone numbers. I don't have a way to get a hold of you. You're on a complete opposite side of the United States and we were friends, but okay, bye. <laughs> like it just is really, it's so weird. It's such a sad thing. It makes me so sad. I had no idea how much time I was spending in that app, that specific platform, how many times I was looking at my phone to, to share a picture or to see what other people were doing or feeling the need to keep up. And I will say I have got such a piece in our homeschool right now because I don't feel like I have to keep up with anything or anybody. All I have is me and my boys right here. And you guys, I can't even explain it other than that. And it has been so beautiful. And here I am, a mom who shares our story on YouTube. I shared our stuff as encouragement. And I know most of you mamas out there share your stuff on these platforms for encouragement. But somehow the enemy can come in and twist anything he wants to twist and it can affect you and all of us individually in so many different ways. And it feels so good to do a normal thing like homeschool my kids and to not take a picture to share, to bake bread and to not take a picture to share it, to go for a run and to not document that this was a milestone. This was my longest run and my fastest time. 
that's for me. Those are moments for me, for my family to share. I don't know how to explain it. Can I just say that I, I hope that I get that back and that maybe Instagram will finally tell me that I am me so I can have those moments and I can reconnect and reunite with so many of you who I have formed relationships and friendships with. But with that being said, this has been a whole different season for us. I don't know. I can most definitely see how the enemy can take something like that and twist it. And now that it's gone and I don't have a choice, I can just keep resubmitting my face left and right. They're still telling me I'm not me. So, and this time I sit and I wait and I seek God and I'm present in the moments with my family, the special moments. I'm not worried about filming for a reel. I'm not worried about taking a picture. It's different guys, it's so different. So all that to say, I still hope that I get it back. I still hope that it, it is a thing um, and that I'm not permanently forever and ever locked out or shut down or whatever. Maybe I'll start a new Instagram from the ground up. I don't know. I don't know that I have the desire to do that. And I don't know that that's where God wants me. So for now, just being here, being present with my family, focusing on things in our own home, in our own space, and not focusing on everything else in the world, right? Being here where he has me present now. So incredibly grateful and thankful for meat in our freezer. As I just mentioned, we have a full freezer of meat and I am so thankful. We got all of our steak cut up. We still need to do burger. We need to grind some more burger and we need to grind up our breakfast sausage. But you guys, we are going to have breakfast sausage and burger and steak and so much to last us for the year. And I am so thankful for that. This book by Jamie Erickson. This is the next thing I have been loving. You know I'm a book reader. I love sharing what I've been reading lately and all the things that I'm enjoying. This book has had my attention. I believe it's called Holy Hayuga. That word does not look like Hayuga, but that is, that's what it says in parentheses underneath. So Holy Hayuga, creating a place for people to gather and the gospel to grow. This is something I've needed. And I'm finding that in our journey to simple living and getting rid of excess, that I'm feeling the desire to open the doors of our home more often. And I will talk about that in a whole nother thing. But this book has been encouraging me in many ways. If you want to check this book out for yourself, I'll link it in the description box down below. But we have um, hospitality, relationships, well-being, atmosphere, comfort, contentment, rest, sharing scripture and what God has called us to do in our homes and the opening up of our doors and being hospitable. And I will tell you, that's not something that I am the greatest at. So it's a work in progress. I'm working on it. But this book has been awesome. The back of it, uh, before God made humanity, he made a home for them. He built a sacred place and we can do the same. That's what I'm working on. That is what I'm working on. So that book, next thing I wanna share with you, um, I have two more things. I wanna talk about knowledge crates. You guys, I am in love with knowledge crates. This is my first go round with this beautiful, beautiful subscription box. And I'm in love. I am absolutely in love with everything I see from knowledge crates. I have heard mamas rant and rave about them. I have seen their stuff. I never understood the beauty of knowledge crates until we got our first box and opened it up for ourselves. And we are currently actually reading this book right here, which was part of our knowledge crates fall box. But this thing is full of so much stuff, books, 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 crafts, activity guides. Hold on. Can we just pay attention to the detail? They have included every single thing that you need in this box to do said fall activities with your children. This is amazing to me and I am so stinking in love. When my boys opened them, my youngest specifically, he took out all these little animals. I put them back in here just so we have everything nice and neat. We have got fraction tiles. We need these, math in general, but hello, this is awesome. We have got a journal for nature journaling. We have got a book for your child to write a story. This is amazing. I have never. Okay, we still got more stuff in here. There is so much stuff in here and I am so excited. These little foam stickers for different crafts. Again, everything is laid out in here that you are going to do for the specific crafts. So I am absolutely in love with this box and everything it contains. I didn't share with you. There is also um, a fall scavenger hunt, fall yoga, a story map, 
I'm so in love with this box and I now understand what all you mamas who've been sharing this all along, what you mean by this, because this, they have created something unlike anything I have ever seen in our 10 years homeschooling. These cards that come with it are right up our alley. We have the American Bison, the Bighorn Ram. We have the elk, of course, the elk. Moose, mountain goat, um, antelope. This is awesome, you guys. I had to share this in the things that I'm loving lately because this is absolutely one of those things. My boys are super, super excited. I have absolutely included everything that you will need for these crafts on top of sending books for you to do as read alouds, independent readers, however you wanna do it in your home and in your family. But knowledge crates, I am absolutely in love with knowledge crates. I just had to share that with you guys. This was like a must share because I'm blown away and I'm not even kidding. I am so blown away, like genuinely blown away with what these women have created for us mamas for our kids, for our kids to have something that they can get into and have all the supplies they need. I don't always keep that stuff on hand. So everything they need is right there, it's laid out. I'm not gonna pick those crafts out on my own. I would never have all the supplies and all the things and the time to be like, we're gonna whip this out today. No, that's not me. Um, Knowledge Crates has done it for us. So they do have a link in the description box down below in case you are interested in checking out Knowledge Crates for yourself, um, I highly, highly recommend knowledge crates. I am blown away. I think I've said that enough. I'm blown away by what they have done for us homeschool families, kids in general, mamas in general, like huge, huge. The last thing I wanna share with you is actually from today's sponsor. So this video has been sponsored by Creative Fabrica. If you are familiar with Teachers Pay Teachers, okay, Creative Fabrica is right up there. Creative Fabrica is awesome for teachers, for homeschool moms, for business owners like myself, for anybody who wants to be creative, anyone who is creative, anyone looking to create files for anything and everything under the sun. I'm talking like preschool activity guides. I'm talking homeschool planners, planners of any sort. If you're looking for specific fonts for crafts and projects that you are going to be doing in home, I'm gonna take you to their website and I wanna show you around just a little bit what Creative Fabrica has to offer. And I want to thank Creative Fabrica for sponsoring this video. This is something I've been loving in this season lately is getting back to creating. Now, not only do I use Creative Fabrica as a business owner for fonts, for graphics, for crafts, for different classes, different tools, fonts, guys, there are so many amazing fonts on here. But when it comes to Creative Fabrica, for the homeschool front, for a homeschool mom, for a teacher, Creative Fabrica has a teacher's club card. And that's what I want to talk briefly about. If you're familiar with Teachers Pay Teachers, Creative Fabrica also has an incentive. So as a homeschool mom, you have access with this teacher club card to more than 10,000 digital teaching resources for just $2.99 for the entire year. So this is an incredible value for such a small fee as a homeschool mom, even as a business owner, as a creator of my own. This has been such an awesome resource for me and for my homeschool and for my business. But back to the teacher club card specifically, there are no obligations. You can cancel that card anytime. With this subscription, you're allowed to download up to five digital downloads per week, 260 per year. Creative Fabrica truly supports teachers and therefore 100% of the teaching subscription fees are paid to the teachers. In the description box down below, you will find a link for Creative Fabrica. You can check it out for yourself. And I wanna thank Creative Fabrica for sponsoring today's video.